Hello beautiful people Welcome back to Nemo Hair's channel We're gonna be talking about our hair diversity if you have watched my video about hair density and hair texture you should watch that first before you come back to this point okay it's very important you do that what's hair porosity hair porosity this is the ability of your hair to absorb water and there are three kinds of hair porosity we have the low hair porosity the normal to medium or the medium to normal hair porosity and then we have the high hair porosity can you guys guess my own porosity i've got a video about that uh, you already know <laughs> okay now let's begin with the low hair porosity so i'm gonna tell the characteristics of hair a low hair porosity if you're this person that applies product on your hair and then you notice your product sitting on your hair like it doesn't go in you have a low porosity hair and if your hair doesn't absorb colors or treatment easily that means you have a low porosity hair and then if you just spray water on your hair and it beats up on your hair you have a low porosity hair. Now for the medium to normal hair porosity. This hair porosity absorbs and retains the right amount of water. The hair always looks shiny and healthy. Every hair porosity should look shiny and healthy if you're taking good care of it. Now to the high hair porosity. Hmm. The high hair porosity these are fast in absorbing water when you just spray water on your hair if you have a high hair porosity it absorbs water immediately okay. in as much as the high hair porosity loves to absorb water quickly it doesn't know how to retain the water that's why it's advisable to sit in the moisture whenever you're done applying your moisturizing product so now to the hair porosity first i like this part because I get to experiment something. Okay, um, it's common everywhere. They love to do the float test where you get a, a glass, just a clear stuff. You put in clean water and you put clean strands of your hair inside and you leave it for a little while, some minutes. If you check it and your strand is floating, just know you have a low porosity. If your strand goes and stops at the middle, it's not up, it's not down, it's in the middle, that means you have a medium to normal porosity. But if your strand goes all the way down, that means you have a high hair porosity. Well, that's a common test, the float test. Well, there are two other tests you can try. Well, these two other tests, I got it from another natural hair channel. I'm going to write her name, put it in her name. This is called the slip and slide test. It's pretty easy. All you have to do is get a strand of your hair or some strands of your hair. I would advise you get one, just one strand of your hair from your scalp. When you get a strand from your hair, you're gonna move upwards towards your scalp. If you feel bumps as you go upwards, that means you have a high porosity hair. If you move upwards and it feels smooth, that means you have a low porosity test. Is the spray test. All you have to do is get a water in a spray bottle and spray on your strands. If the water beats up, that means you have a low porosity hair. And if the water gets absorbed easily, then you have a high porosity hair. And when you spray the water and it absorbs, this is like a few minutes later, that means you have a normal hair porosity. All these hair porosities have ways to care for them to receive that shiny healthy hair for low porosity hair you have to be careful with protein this kind of hair does not demand everyday protein and also use um products that attract uh, moisture to your hair like shea butter jojoba oil i used to find it difficult to pronounce this 
I used to say Jobaba <laughs> instead of Jojoba or um, coconut oil. Those products that attract moisture, you get me? So use light products for this kind of hair press. It's advisable to use uh, like a cleansing clay or apple cider vinegar to cleanse your scalp to remove product buildup. For the high porosity hair, you should be careful with products that attract moisture because flashback to what I said, that's why. Um, this hair loves heavy creams, it absorbs it easily. This hair porosity loves to absorb moisture but it doesn't know how to retain it. So do not for don't forget to seal in the moisture with either a thick oil or shea butter. Well, anyways, I'll still advise you. Every hair, every hair porosity should seal in moisture. It's very important. You need your hair moisturized. You don't want to dry hair. That's all I have for hair porosity. If you have any question or any suggestion or any contribution, you should put it in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Thank you for watching this video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment, to share it to people that also want to grow their hair. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. Don't forget to also turn on the bell so that whenever I post, you'll be the first to get notified. Okay, and for my old subbies, I love you all. Thank you for sticking around. Do not forget to like and comment and share this video also. I love you guys. I love, love, love you guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Mwah.